Connected Healthcare has long been in the crosshairs of cyber criminals, but in 2020, we witnessed this on an unprecedented level. While doctors and nurses were busy fighting the COVID-19 pandemic, attacks against healthcare institutions soared. In this part of Kaspersky Security Bulletin, we'll be taking a closer look at attacks discovered by our experts. Ransomware is becoming more and more dangerous in previous two years. Now we see a lot of targeted ransomware attacks, which makes them not just common malicious files anymore, but more APT attacks. This year, in Q3, we detected four new families on ransomware uh, files, and uh, we detected uh, more than 6,000 uh, variations of those malicious files. But not that much as we've seen in previous year when it was three times more than that. But at the same time, we must understand that it's quite a lot of new malicious files because they are targeted and they attack a lot of quite sensitive information, quite sensitive organizations like government, economical, educational, and medical facilities. This quarter, we've seen 120,000 unique users attacked by ransomware. What is Rook? Rook is uh, one of those targeted ransomware that was one of the first uh, that anyone ever detected. It was first detected in the wild in August 2018, and since then it was detected in all the countries of the world. In some countries it is more active, in others less, but we can see it in all the countries in the world where we work. Rook is distributed via malicious emails mainly, and it means that uh, only user that click on uh, attachment and uh, switches on microsys can uh, infect uh, the machines in the organization. It doesn't mean that people do not do it. Uh, many people still click on the attachments, and Rook is active in many countries since two years. While the majority of cyber criminals decided to seize on the opportunity to attack healthcare workers and institutions when they were obviously preoccupied with their primary duties, there were actually a few groups that decided to take a break. And the pandemic began. Two of large uh, targeted ransomware groups told to one of uh, the journalists that they will not attack medical facilities. It were Maze and Doppelfamer. Maze is one of the large uh, targeted ransomware groups that uh, is very well known. And in previous year, it was firstly detected and it was known to researchers only as Cha Cha Ransomware. New website appeared in the internet that had a title uh, Maze support and it was uh, intended to be uh, one of the websites that uh, the victims of this ransomware could see and uh, they could uh, check if their machines were infected by the Maze malware or some other and if it was infected by Maze malware so they got new instructions of where to pay their ransom. What did help in this situation was the establishment of the CTI League, a volunteer task force designed to protect healthcare institutions. In addition, the cybersecurity community worked in unison with enterprises and government agencies to implement a series of initiatives, such as handing out free subscriptions to antivirus to help organizations stay secure. In July 2020, Western agencies published uh, information about wellness attacking vaccine research. They told that uh, they connect uh, wellness malware with APT group APT29, also known as the Duke or Cosimware. Unfortunately, they didn't give any evidence for those connections, so we cannot say why they decided that uh, this malware that never was attributed to any group was connected to APT29. We also do not have any evidence of this connection, so we cannot say if it was connected or not. Since then, some more agencies published information that a wellness was connected to APT29 group and attacked vaccine research, but we still do not have any evidence from our side and haven't seen it in those publications. So, what have we learned from all this and what can you expect in the coming year? In 2021, we predict the following. First, research organizations should be prepared for more attacks against them. Unfortunately, intellectual property has long been a hotspot of cyber criminal activity, and vaccine development will be no different. 
particularly given how important it is right now. There will be more patient data leaks simply because more patient data is being aggregated and distributed online. In addition, attacks against healthcare organizations will be weaponized as part of a larger geopolitical struggle, regardless of false flags or the severity of attacks. Health-related issues will continue to be a popular hook for phishing in 2021. That means it's important that healthcare institutions pay extra attention to training their employees in cybersecurity awareness. It's also important that they deploy the proper security solutions. Finally, the one positive, the additional attention being paid to information security in the medical sector offers an opportunity for greater cooperation between security experts and healthcare institutions. So make sure you stay informed and stay safe.